but welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today is Sunday, so it's our pricing video where we look on eBay at the last week's completed sales and check out all the prices for you know all those key issues you may want. Because I always say when you're collecting and investing in comic books, kind of the best thing you could do is just stay on top of the current market prices for all those key issues that you want, because then you're never gonna overpay. Um, certainly on eBay, there's always kind of full retail prices, especially in the CGC 9.8s, that are often, you know, for some books, you know, $100 or $200 more than, you know, the fair price for that book. Um, so when you look at completed sales, you're usually going to see a fair price every now and then. You'll see an elevated price, but, um, you know, we've been doing these videos for about three months now, three, four months. So the more you kind of do them, you, you can, you, you know, you know the fair price. And then when you see an elevated price, you know to kind of stay off and be patient and wait for a better price. So I uh, got a full list of key issues that sold uh, last week off of eBay. All these prices are in U.S. dollars. There'll be a full list in the description below of the issue and the price to follow along. And yeah, these are just all completed sales from last week off of eBay. So first issue is a Venom Lethal Protector number one. This is kind of the first self-titled Venom book. Two of these I saw sell uh, the red foil cover version for $75.80 and $74.65 was the other one. So about 75 bucks is a fair price for this book. And, you know, as a Venom fan, a huge Venom fan, I personally, you know, I prefer other books over this one. Um, certainly, like, I pr I'd much prefer Amazing Spider-Man Venom appearances in Amazing Spider-Man over, like, you know, Venom Lethal Protector or Venom the Mace. Or there were so many um, Venom self-titled books uh, in the 90s. This being the first one, you know, maybe you have a nostalgic connection to it, so you could go for that. But I, I prefer like a, you know, a three, Amazing Spider-Man 315, Amazing Spider-Man 316, and 317 for that matter, and even other Venom covers all through Amazing Spider-Man. I would uh, recommend those over this book. Next book here, um, Amazing Spider-Man 363. So I do have uh, one in the CGC 9.8. And I kind of got Carnage Part 1, Carnage Part 2, and Carnage Part 3 in the CDC 9.8. These are just like super nostalgic for me, uh, you know, when I was growing up collecting comic books. So one of these had sold last week in the CGC 9.8 for $64.99. And, you know, $64.99, every now and then you see like a lot of the, like modern Carnage comics, even if they're variants and things like that, and they're going for like over $100 and, you know, where... You, where you can get the second or third carnage for like $65, $70. I think that's a way better buy than, you know, going after a lot of these variants that are kind of hot in the moment, but will probably be really hard to sell on the way out. And I think with Carnage Part 2 and 3, you know, for $64, $65, bucks, I think, you know, over time that could be worth over 100 So, you know, I think it'll, it'll slightly go up over time type of thing. Uh, so $64.99 one sold for uh, Batman 570. So this is a first Harley Quinn in Batman titled book. Uh, Batman 570. One sold for $129.99. And this is a book I have too. And I think I, I paid a little bit more for mine. Um, and I bought mine about a year and a half ago now, I would say. So yeah, I think this book maybe is cooling down with, you know, sort of the Harley Quinn hype cooling down, although Birds of Prey is just starting to pick up. So uh, maybe this book in general is, is kind of just coming down a little bit. But I think this is a, a pretty good fair price, uh, $129.99 for Batman 570. Uh, a, a cool book, uh, G.I. Joe Real American Hero number 6. This is the first appearance of the October Guard. It's got the really cool uh, kind of Cobra Commander October Guard uh, cover. Kind of a really classic cover, I'd say, uh, from the first you know 10 issues of G.I. Joe. This is probably the most classic cover of this in the first one. Uh, for $170, one of these went for in the CGC 9.8. I thought that was a really good price. Every now and then, you see these early G.I. Joe issues uh, in Buy It Nows for like $250, $300. Like people are really trying to get top dollar for them. Uh, so yeah, to see kind of first October Guard go in an auction for $170 is, uh, I think, a really good buy. The uh, next book is Uncanny X-Men number 211. An affordable Uncanny X-Men first appearance of the Marauders with the Wolverine cover. Um, so 211 First Marauders, that book went for $69.99 last week. And that's another one where every now and then you kind of, 
I think see the price creep up to a hundred dollars, but most of the time this book is like uh, sixty, you know, sixty-five to sixty-nine, maybe into the seventies. But the, you know, if you're on a budget, you get a first appearance, first appearance of Marauders, and a cool kind of Wolverine cover. Uncanny X Men two eleven for sixty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, next book is a uh, Batman 609, which is the first appearance of Hush, and um, kind of a modern Jim Lee Batman book. I, I really like this run from Batman 608 to, uh, I think it's 620, the whole like Hush storyline run with Jim Lee art. Uh, I have all of these in, the, in a raw copies. I have the whole run and like doubles of a lot of them too, because yeah, I, do, I really love Jim Lee, and uh, kind of one point when I maybe like two, about two years ago, I really just wanted all, all of this whole run, so I ended up almost getting it like two times over in the raw copies. Uh, but one of these, uh, Batman 609 at CGC 9.8, cool Poison Ivy cover, first appearance of Hush went for one oh nine ninety five, And uh, you might be able to get that a little bit lower, but uh, you know, at least you got a first appearance in there, a really cool cover, and Jim Lee art, can't go wrong. Next book is uh, Incredible Hulk 377. First Professor Hulk, first Smart Hulk, first New Hulk, uh, whatever you want to call it. But uh, that really cool kind of green cover, classic 90s Hulk book. Um, is it late 80s? Late 80s, early 90s? I forget exactly. But um, uh, Incredible Hulk 377, went, one of them sold for $115. And I would say this is like a fair price for this book. Um, I was looking kind of to see some past prices of this book and I, on one of our videos one went for 137.50 uh, and I believe that was like maybe five or six weeks ago uh, so this one going for 115 not a bad price I'd say that's a fair price another really cool Hulk book is the next one Avengers 684 the first immortal Hulk and uh, one of these went for 109.98 and I think kind of this book and the, the first Professor Hulk if you're on a budget and you really like Hulk these are probably like the two best books you could buy. You know, Immortal Hulk has become really popular and a really good selling book. So uh, to get the first Immortal Hulk and then first Professor Hulk is just a classic 90s book. And certainly in Avengers Endgame with Professor Hulk uh, being such a hit in that movie, I think. That kind of sets it up well long term, I think. But um, yeah, I, I've both of these books, if you're on a budget and you love Hulk, I think these are kind of the two go-to ones almost. For me, anyway, that come to mind. Uh, next book is a uh, Star Wars eighty one, and this is a book that um, I had actually purchased in the raw, and this is one of the comics I got graded by CGC. I got eleven comic books graded by CGC um, out of I probably have about ninety CGC nine point eight, so only eleven I've graded myself. This was one of them, and it came back as CGC nine point eight. Uh, it's the Return of Boba Fett, Star Wars 81. One of these sold last week for $199.99. So uh, pretty rare in the CGC 9.8. I love the cover. It's just It has everything in the cover, like Millennium Falcon, uh, Boba Fett, you know, Chewbacca with the, the Jawas. Like, you just you get everything in this cover. I think it's a really kind of underappreciated Star Wars cover. Return of Boba Fett, too. Uh, so it's a bit of kind of a minor key, I would say. Um, but one ninety nine ninety nine. I think that's a good price for this book. I, you know, grading it myself, I didn't pay, you know, uh, for this book in the CGC nine point eight. But um, yeah, really cool Star Wars cover, Return of Boba Fett. Great painted cover. I think if you're somewhat on a budget, and you don't want to kind of go up there to, um, you know, first Boba Fett or Star Wars number one, which are you know, a more elevated price. Like Star Wars 42, first Boba Fett is about 350 to 400. Star Wars number one, one sold last week for like 1,150 or something like that on our other pricing video. So if you're on budget, I really like this one. Next one, Amazing Spider-Man 362, second Carnage. Uh, so I brought out the third Carnage. I do have the second Carnage in the CGC 9.8. This one actually kind of, you know, get an idea of how pricing can be. This one went for $56, whereas the third uh, Carnage went for sixty four ninety nine. So a lot of times, you know, it's just going to depend on how good the pictures are on the auction and a lot of things. But uh, yeah, you get a second Carnage for less money than the third Carnage last week. But um, still pretty close in price, and they are somewhat equivalent. Sometimes you see second Carnage go for quite more. So I think you know whoever got second Carnage for fifty six dollars in a new case, it was too. Uh, it was a good buy. And uh, next book here is. Uh, 
a bit of a comic of the moment, and it'll be interesting to see how the, the price of this book works out. But it's a what if number ten when Jane Foster found the, the or what if Jane Foster found the Thor hammer, and one of these and the CGC nine point eight really good looking copy I gotta say like very centered and there wasn't like a marker through the UPC code or anything like that uh, sold for one thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So uh, one thousand five hundred bucks for what if number ten in the CGC nine point eight right now. And yeah, obviously the last Thor movie is going to have Jane Foster in it, is kind of the rumor. I think that's confirmed now. I'm not 100% sure of that, but... And yeah, I know this was essentially, I believe, like a $500-ish book before that announcement came out. Um, and it really caught everyone off guard, I think, and um, yeah, now this book is $1,500, let's call it. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. I wouldn't really recommend to go after this book to be honest, but um, nonetheless, we'll keep an eye on the price. An X Force number two, a second appearance of Deadpool, one sold for fifty four ninety nine. And I always say, like, for a second appearance of Deadpool, like, you know, this issue, I, it kind of looks a lot better on paper um, than the sort of idea of it being the second appearance of Deadpool. Then, you know, personally, I don't like the cover that much, and. I find, too, that it doesn't really sell that well. Like, you see a lot that are pretty competitively priced that just don't even sell. And I think it's because the cover is just underwhelming. And um, I feel like there's other Deadpool secondary keys that are way more popular. But, you know, X-Force number two, second Deadpool, maybe you do like the cover. Certainly a subjective thing. But it went for fifty four ninety nine, And that, I think, is a really good price for that book. You know, you see a lot of people trying to sell that for, like, 80 bucks type uh, price range, I would say. Uh, another really cool key issue here, a new Teen Titans number two. Uh, you know, I believe the uh, early 80s book, I believe, but it's a first first Deathstroke, the Terminator. Really cool book. Uh, one of those last week went for $724.99. And, you know, certainly classic DC book if you're into that era, if that's nostalgic to you. I think this is a really good one to grab. Uh, an Infinity Gauntlet number one. One of those sold in the CGC 9.8 for $109.99. That'd be kind of interesting to see how this book sort of did when the Infinity Gauntlet really started coming out in, adventure, er, in Avengers movies. Compared to now being about $109.99, about $100 bucks for, for this book. Um, yeah, personally right now I think Silver Surfer 44, which is the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet ever. I think that's kind of the one to go after, and I had purchased one of mine in the CGC 9.8 for 157 US dollars, I think it was. And then I have two of them actually in the CGC 9.8, and the other one was like 225, I believe. So, uh, got, definitely got a better deal. So if you can get the first Infinity Gauntlet near kind of 165, 170, something like that, I think that would be a really good buy. Over this book, personally, um, I know this book's more related to Avengers, the movies, but um, I prefer the first appearance, Silver Surfer 44, better, co cooler cover. Um, next book, a uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number one in the CGC 9.8. So this is getting into the 70s, the first Spectacular Spider-Man, no first appearance, it's like a tarantula appearance. Um, one of these went for $170.50 in the CGC 9.8. Next book, a uh, really popular book right now, is Thor 337, First Beta Ray Bill. A uh, newsstand version of this book in the CGC 9.8 sold. Really nice uh, looking book. One sold for $421. And uh, that's kind of the going price for this book. I think literally this exact same book in a newsstand version that looked really good in a new case as well. I think it sold for $417 or something. Or, Maybe last week or the week after, I can't remember exactly, but a couple weeks ago uh, on one of our pricing videos. So yeah, kind of the going rate, I think, is about 420 bucks for this book. Um, a Preacher number one in the CGC 9.8 sold. First full, uh, Jesse Custer, and uh, in the CGC 9.8 last week, sold for $227.50. And I think this is a cool book if you're into kind of 90s horror books and stuff like that, and you know, me, I'm really just into, like, superhero, classic superhero books, Star Wars and Spider-Man and Batman and Venom and Carnage, so kind of a bit out of my sort of circle of competence, I guess you could say, but uh, 227.50, Preacher number one in the CGC 9.81. I think that's a, that's a good deal, though. And last book is um, 
a book that one of my kind of favorite sellers, I did like a favorite sellers video a couple weeks ago, and one of my favorite sellers sold a New Mutants 98, first appearance of Deadpool, a uh, really nice looking new case, in a new stand, and this new stand version was quite nicely centered as well. Uh, so, yeah, to be honest, I didn't really check in on my this seller this week, but, oh man, if I would have saw this one, I would have really been tempted to bid, because, yeah, like a perfectly centered newsstand edition of New Mutants 98, that's basically what it was. And, yeah, I'm a sucker for those. Like, if I see a newsstand version and it's just perfectly centered, like, I really am tempted to bid on it, but I didn't see this one as, as it was happening in real time, but um, it did sell last week, and it sold for $705 in a newsstand and you know just looking at it looking at the pictures uh, newsstand edition nicely centered um, you know I probably would have just bid 750 because I've saw some many in the direct version sell for 750 in the last few weeks so to get a perfectly centered newsstand edition and I probably if I would have saw this I probably would have bid about 750 760 uh, it's kind of like my strategy for bidding, usually a little bit overbidding a, a tad just to make sure you win it. Uh, and I usually bid with literally like three seconds left on uh, most of my uh, eBay uh, bids. But yeah, I think this would have been a really good buy. New means 98, new stand version for $705. Um, I think that's a good price. And that's the last book for today. So yeah, you know, one of the main things I always say in these videos is you know, whether it's once a week or twice a week or something, just have a look at uh, some completed listing prices for some of those key issues that you want to buy. And then if you do that for a couple months, you get a really good database kind of of what these books should go for. And certainly invite you to, you know, join the team here and subscribe to our channel. And you can check out all our Sunday pricing videos. We got a playlist of them. Um, but yeah, you're really helpful. And, you know, I know, again, after doing these for about three, four months, I have a really good database of all the key issues because, you know, I'd like to focus on 80s and 90s books usually. Some modern books as well, obviously, but I have a really good database of what, like, just in my head of some of the key issues that I want and about the prices that they should go for. Because then on eBay, you're always going to see those elevated prices that are tempting to buy because a lot of times the books look really good. and um, But a lot of times on eBay, there's one or two listings per key issue that are, you know, 10 to 20 percent, maybe 30 percent more than a, a fair good price for a book um, if you kind of were patient and waited for an auction type of thing. Uh, okay, so that'll be it for this pricing video this Sunday. And uh, again, I'll invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8 here. And when you subscribe, when you press subscribe, the bell pops up, hit the bell, get all our latest notifications. I'm trying to do about four or five videos a week right now. But yeah, um, you know, staying on top of these pricing prices of the CGC 9.8 books, I think is probably one of the best things you can do as a collector. So thanks so, so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.